Hello boys and girls, Encantador is here and today I will show and share my opinion on Monster Slayers, a deck building roguelike adventure as it says. This game is developed by Nerdu Productions that created Rever Scroll that I enjoyed a lot so I was really excited to try this new game. Select your character. We start by selecting a hero to play with, each hero has unique uh, deck of cards to play with and unique uh, starting items. So, I will start with the wizard, because I, I like it. Down the opportunity to treasure yeah, hunt. we can customize it, its appearance and its, yeah, its voice, but it, treasure, uh, right no it's problem. just for flavor, I will it's nothing to do with the going, gameplay itself. So, <laughs> tutorial recommended not to spend a lot of time here, because your first hero will probably die soon. But you will keep all the inventory, all the items that you looted during your previous runs and so they will help a lot because you can equip even on the fresh new hero, you can equip the very cool items from the previous run, high level ones. For example, this bow is very cool because it ignores enemy armor and has a lot of other cool things and green is awesome and uh, I will equip more things to this new fresh hero just to show you guys what's what can be done here and this cloak and uh, yeah they provide these items provide a lot of cool things and uh, for this wizard for this run I think I will go with this rings robe and uh, this awesome bow so I have a deck of starting cards these cards will be used to attack uh, enemies and to protect from their attacks and uh, they are not very cool in the beginning but I will be able to gain new cards and to upgrade the existing ones during the adventure some of them are just support cards some of them are attack or protect cards these are the upgrades that I gain by spending fame points so during the run we gain fame and uh, we can spend fame points here for some upgrades for new cards for new perks and things like that so let's go for an adventure dead forests crystal caverns others are locked for now so yeah let's see this place doesn't look too friendly. In the beginning we have only one location available entrance. So let's go. Let's do this. Okay, let me read this. So another hopeful hero trying to be a monster slayer. Well it's dangerous to go alone. Choose your companion. Companions provide one-time bonuses during the battle. And uh, for example, this deals 12 fire damage. And then they have a cooldown for a couple of battles. These are our starting characteristics, uh, HP, action points and mana. So let's go, oh, let's go for treasure right away. So another location provides us treasure. So what do we have here? Three, two cards to choose from. Uh, let's go with uh, Firebolt. Yeah, it deals pretty good amount of damage. So let's fight. Bet, level one. So we have starting hand and we can change it uh, once but let's go with this one so we have uh, cards that require action points to be played so uh, these are usually attack cards and we have mana points that are used for spells that are quite powerful usually so let's fight this bet and it's Perfect. yeah it it's easy because I have very cool items from the previous runs. Healer will allow us to restore health, but we are full right now. But it will also allow us to delete a card, so we can remove a weak card from our deck. So uh, we would have more powerful deck, it will have less cards, which is okay. Uh, another treasure, and yeah, that's good with poison damage. Yeah, let's take this. Okay, I skipped uh, the boring part of killing monsters because they were too weak. And now I am on another location and I'm about to show you the real let's fight when monsters fight back and it is 
part and I died a lot on level 5 so most likely I will die again treasure okay let's grab something Ooh, this could be helpful. and yeah mana search is very good 20 mana rogue level 6 let's see them dodge my attack. and let's fight so first of all I gain some mana and I think I will gain some protection and then will hit him with everything I have with everything I got yeah, ignite it. Uh, burn. Burn. Okay, he hits back. One, two, three. So many hits from him, but not very devastating. So let's fight back. Uh, and defeat it. Good. Good. Another level. And I th oh, I'll get the bomb. The bomb is good. There'll be poison? No, bomb. Next one. Treasure. Good. Oh, I got a potion, so I restored some health. Magic missile. Okay, I'll grab it. Now I have this kind of deck, which is cool. Slime lion. Lion. Let's fight lion. And uh, yeah, let's fight with action points and with mana. With everything I can, let's draw some more cards. Okay, let's get some beating. Oh, oh, that was painful. Okay, mana. Thunderbolt. And thunderstorm. Thunderstem. Oh, 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 that was painful, but okay, catch, boom, good, mana, attack, missile, missile, still alive, alright, so let's get protection, oh, he forces us to discard the two cards, not good, but okay, but okay, now I have only 18 health points, so I most probably die in this encounter. What I like is the pace. It's really quick playing game. You can just fight a few battles and just uh, go do your stuff or drink tea or eat cookies. But then you return and you have a couple of more. Yeah, I die. A couple of more quick battles. What I like, the cartoonish animation is pretty cool. Nerdic style is recognizable. Sound effects are awesome. Music surprisingly not annoying because I turn off the music in many games. Not this one. I like it here. And the concept is simple. Gameplay is simple but still challenging. And yeah, I highly recommend this game just to have fun. I played for a couple of hours already for five dollars or less I think I, I got it for four dollars uh, with discount. So if you're looking for fun roguelike card game Monster Slayers is pretty good choice. Lots of fun. Recommended. So it was Encantador. See you next time. Be well.